Germany is a beautiful country with green rolling hills, enchanting black forests, and delicious food. People had been speaking German for a long time before the country named Germany was formed in 1871. However, the country we know today as Germany really came about in 1989. Here are some interesting facts about Germany. Germany has a lot of castles. So, before Germany was known as Germany, there were kings, queens, lords, knights, and peasants that all lived and worked around these castles. Around the year 1871, all of these German-speaking states formed a country. At this time, they had one leader whose name was Otto von Bismarck. In 1914, after World War I, Germany tried to become a country that had a government similar to ours, but when that failed, a dictator by the name of Adolf Hitler took power. A dictator is someone that has power kind of like a king, but he takes that power by force. A dictator is usually a very cruel person, and Adolf Hitler was indeed that type of person. Hitler killed almost all of the Jewish people who lived in Germany, and then he tried to take over the world by killing everyone who stood in his way. World War II was basically started when Hitler tried to take over the world. Hitler died toward the end of that war, and Germany began to rebuild. Germany tried again to form a government, but during the war, people in the West had been influenced by the United States and wanted a government that allowed people to be free and choose their leaders. The people in the East had been influenced by the Soviet Union, and wanted a government that promised a good life by giving more power to the leaders. As a result, Germany was literally split into two pieces. First, by different ways of thinking, and later, by a wall and barbed wire. This wall was known as the Berlin Wall. The West enjoyed many freedoms and growth, while the East suffered many difficulties and were separated from the world around them. The two groups of people became very different, in spite of the fact that they both spoke German. After many years of separation, the communist government failed, and the people broke down the wall that separated them. This was in 1989, and the Germany that we know today was born. Because of this long separation, a visitor to Germany will find that the west part of Germany is still very different from the east. Germany is the most populous nation in Europe and the 16th most populous nation in the world. This means that even though it's not very big in size, it has a lot of people packed into that area. Most of the people living in Germany were born there, and even though they speak German and live on the other side of the world, people in Germany like a lot of the same things we do, especially soccer. Most of us here in America eat dinner as the main meal of the day, but in Germany, their main meal of the day is lunch. Many of the smaller cities in Germany do not have large grocery stores like we have, so to do shopping, a person often has to go to different places to get what they need. Even though this might seem inconvenient, the good side of this is that pastries, breads, meats, and cheeses are made by people who specialize in that food, making them taste a lot better than what we're used to. Sauerkraut and bratwurst are popular German foods that were created hundreds of years ago. They were popular foods because they would not spoil easily in a time when people did not have refrigerators. People in Germany dress very similar to any other modern society, but they do have some unique traditional clothing that's still worn on occasion. The most recognizable part of this clothing is the lederhosen, leather shorts with straps that go around the shoulders. They were made of leather because it would last a long time when doing hard work. Lederhosen is meaningful to Germans in a way that cowboy hats are meaningful to Americans, or kilts are to people from Scotland. Not everyone wears them, but in some areas it would not be unusual to see someone wearing it. Most people are Christian in Germany, about 38% Protestant, 34% Roman Catholic, 2% Muslim, and 26% are some other religion or no religion at all. Germany is smaller than the size of Texas and is a little bit farther north than most of the United States. 
The north side of the country borders the ocean. When an area is next to the ocean, the winters are not as cold and the summers are not as hot. The south side of Germany is close to the Alps, a tall mountain range in Europe. Because this area is further from the ocean and higher up, it has colder winters and hotter summers. This was just a small part of what makes Germany the unique country that it is today. Print out your worksheet and do some of the suggested activities to learn a little bit more about Germany and its people.